everyone, Bailey here again with another common Lincoln tree identification video. Today we're going to be looking at a really common tree in Nebraska called the Eastern Red Cedar. Now this name is a little bit of a misnomer because the Eastern Red Cedar actually isn't a cedar. So the cedar gen genus is the Cedrus genus. This is actually a juniper. The scientific name for Eastern Red Cedar is Juniperus virginiana. So that's, it's actually in the juniper group, which is really interesting. You might know junipers for their really nice smell. Um, gin berries come from, these, from this genus, so uh, the, another member of this genus is used to make gin. So let's look at some of the interesting identifying features for eastern red cedar. And I will point out that these grow all over the state of Nebraska as well as out into the prairie, and they look very different in a neighborhood setting than they would out in the wild. And that's because arborists, or people who take care of the health of trees, do a lot of pruning. So you can see different areas on this tree where there's branches that are missing because otherwise they grow a really thick, healthy crown. Which is good for the tree, but for managing a tree in the city is not so good. The first thing we'll look at to help us identify eastern red cedar is its bark. It's going to be this orangish red color, really distinct. As the tree gets much older, it'll sometimes look like more of a red gray. But it looks kind of stringy in texture and it has these little strands coming off of it that actually flake right off. So it's very fibrous, which distinguishes it from some of the pine trees that are going to have platy bark or scaly bark. Another thing that lets us know this is a juniper, and specifically eastern red cedar, are its leaves. So you can refer to our Pine Not a Pine video if you're interested in understanding more about the differences between pines versus something like a juniper. But we can tell this is in the juniper genus because it has these really small scale-like leaves. So these actually aren't needles, they're tiny little scales, which I'll show a close-up of in just a second. And something else about this tree too, there are both male trees and female trees. We can tell that this is a female tree because we see it has fruit. And so the female trees, sometimes you have both uh, organs on one tree, sometimes there are male trees and female trees. And so the female trees will produce these little berries, or juniper berries. They're actually teeny tiny berries, which I'll show up close here. And we can also see now better their scale-like leaves. So each of these little branchlets actually contains numerous teeny tiny leaves. They're really soft to the touch, which allows us to know that it's not something like a spruce, which tends to be spikier. And again, the arrangement on this is going to be alternating, but we see these scale-like structures. So again, this is eastern red cedar. Like I mentioned before, it's not a true cedar. It's actually a juniper. These are planted commonly around Lincoln, and you'll see them growing natively in Nebraska as well. So keep an eye out for this guy, and remind yourself, even though it can be confusing a little bit, it's not a pine, it's a juniper. Thanks for watching, guys.